Hello and welcome to Yoga with Carolyn. My name is Carolyn and thank you so much for being here. In today's practice, we've got a yoga flow for self-love. So this is a accessible but strengthening yoga flow. So we're gonna connect into the beautiful strength of your body and also give yourself a little bit of time to connect into your heart center. So put on your comfy clothes, roll out your yoga mat and let's get started. Welcome to Yoga with Carolyn. Teaching yoga students how to find more comfort and presence in life through the lessons of gentle hatha and yin yoga, no matter your shape or ability to touch your toes. Hello, 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 and welcome to your yoga mat. So we're starting exactly as I am right now in a comfortable seat, so bring any sort of supports that you need to really make sure that this feels like one, a supported shape, and two, a comfortable shape. So blankets, pillows, blocks, whatever it is that you need. Allow your hands to rest wherever they rest comfortably. And then allow your eyes to come to a close. Eyes don't have to be closed. If it feels more comfortable, you can simply have some softness to the gaze. And then let yourself arrive. Letting any way that you have arrived on your mat be exactly as it is and very much welcomed. So even if you've arrived on your mat and the mind maybe is feeling busy or maybe you have a heavy heart or the physical body is feeling some things, maybe you're feeling good or maybe you're feeling not so good. However it is that you have arrived on your mat, let it be welcome. Let your yoga mat, let your yoga practice be a space where you welcome all of it without feeling the need to shame, judge, fix. All is welcome. And picking up into the hands and placing the hands palm face down on your heart, right in the center of your chest. I know the heart's a little bit over to the left, but <laughs> allow your hands to rest right above your heart or in the center of your chest. Feel into that. Allow your awareness to drop into that spot right beneath your hands. What does it feel like? Can you feel your heartbeat under your hands? And as you begin to breathe, you might have already begun to tap into a breath that feels a little bit more nurturing. As you inhale, breathe in that sensation of love. And on the exhale, breathe out that sensation of love. A few more times just like that, breathe in love. Breathe out love. And if your mind is trying to come into it and be like, oh my gosh, this is so corny. This is so lame. <laughs> eh, maybe it is. But who cares? Does it feel good? What can be explored when you breathe in and you breathe out? That sensation, that energy of love. Slowly fluttering the eyes open. Allowing the hands to come onto either side of your hips, fingertips, pressing into the mat. With your next inhale, inhale, reach the fingertips all the way out and up towards the sky. 
On the exhale, the elbows bend as you pull the elbows back and then allow the hands to clasp right where your low back is. On the inhale, press the knuckles down. The gaze looks up towards the sky. On the exhale, release the clasp of the hands, bring the gaze forward. We'll do that a few more times. Inhale, fingertips out and up. Exhale, bend at the elbows, pull those elbows back, and then the hands clasp where the low back is. Inhale, press the knuckles down, gaze looks up. Exhale, two more times at your own pace. and then pause. Take a second and notice. Noticing that sensation or that stretch or that space that you have begun to create in the front of your heart, across the chest. And then making your way into tabletop position. So coming onto your hands and your knees. In your tabletop position, we'll take a few rounds of cat and cow pose. On the inhale, drop the belly down, gaze looks up towards the sky. On the exhale, start at the tailbone, tip the pelvis, spread the shoulder blades wide, tuck the chin in towards the chest. A few more times, inhale. Exhale. Last one. Come back into center, find your length in your spine again. And then from your tabletop position, curl the toes under, bring your belly button up towards your spine. So bring your attention to your belly, belly button in towards the spine. I'm right here with you, so you've got this. Those toes are curled under, and then see if you can lift the knees just like an inch. Notice if you're collapsing in the upper back, so press into the hands, spread into the upper back, puff into the upper back. Keep that belly button pressing up towards the spine, connecting into your center, and breathe. Beautiful. Allow the knees to come back down towards the mat. Uncurl the toes. Send the hips back towards the heels. Walk the hands forward. Child's pose. Forehead comes down onto the mat. Let the arms just settle and soften. The breath is still moving in and out of that heart center. And then slowly come back up into your tabletop position. And then from your tabletop position, straighten that right leg back behind you, curl the toes under. Straighten the left leg back behind you, curl the toes under. Plank pose. Modification for a plank pose. And don't think that modification is, this is the easy version, but it's just an option for you to really support your body, support your practice. Modification in your plank pose would be to, exactly from where your legs are, just bring your knees down. So maintaining that kind of rocking forward, shoulders above the wrists, belly button in towards the spine. Breathe. Breathe through any sort of wobbling or shaking or vibrating that might be happening in the body. That's just your body waking up your nervous system, your muscles. You are so strong. Send yourself some love, send yourself some patience and care and kindness. If your legs or your knees are up, bring your knees back down. If your knees are already there, we'll all come back into a child's pose. Ho, 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 well done. from your child's pose. Bring yourself up 
We'll meet in downward facing dog. Walk those hands forward, spread the fingers wide, curl the toes under to straighten the legs, send the hips up and back into your first downward facing dog. Find some movement here. Bend one leg, bend the other leg. Shake the head to relax the neck. And then settling into stillness in your downward facing dog. Keeping that spreading apart of the shoulder blades and the upper back. Softness in the knees. Take up space on your mat here. Nice big downward facing dog. On the next inhale, lift the heels up away from the mat. And then on the exhale, slowly rolling yourself forward into a plank pose, high push up. From your plank pose, inhale to lift the belly, lift the hips up towards the sky. Exhale, lower the heels back down. A few more times, inhale, lift high. Exhale, roll forward. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, settle the heels down. One last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, settle. From your downward facing dog, take as many steps as you need to to make your way towards the front end of your yoga mat. If you've got your yoga blocks there, then you can use your blocks to raise the floor up a little bit, placing hands on your blocks. Crown of the head reaches down towards the mat. Take up space with your feet here, softness in the knees. Enjoy this release for the back line of your body. Breathe in love. Breathe out love. Let this time on your mat be a chance for you to really connect into the wonders of your physical body. Send yourself as much love and kindness as you can throughout this practice. From your forward fold, take an inhale to find your half lift. So either hands are on those blocks or hands come onto the shins or the thighs, reaching the crown of the head forward. Exhale, let your head drop. Let's do that two more times with variations with the arms. Inhale, find your half lift, flat back. This time, reach the arms back behind you. Fingertips are reaching towards the back end of your yoga mat. Lengthen into the back of the neck, belly button in towards spines, so that same connection that you've been finding throughout the practice so far. Take one more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Whew. Last one. Inhale, find your half lift. This time, reach the fingertips forward. Plug the shoulders down away from the ears. Notice if you're hyperextending in the knees, so please find a little bit of softness in the knees. Hips are really reaching back, and then allow that length to travel from the tailbone all the way towards the top, the very top of your head. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Beautiful work. Press into the feet to slowly roll up to standing. Head comes up last. Rolling the shoulders back once you get there. Tadasana, mountain pose. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward and bring your tips come all the way up towards the sky. On the exhale, bring the hands behind you. Clasp those hands together. Inhale as you reach the knuckles down, gaze looks up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, keep the hands clasped, softness in the knees as you hinge at the hips, lead with the heart, forward fold. Inhale, find a half lift, use those knuckles to bring yourself up. Exhale, forward fold, release the hands entirely. So very similar flow to what we've already done. Inhale, this time reach the fingertips forward, softness in the knees, bring yourself all the way up. Right away on the exhale, drop the hands behind you, clasp those hands together. Inhale, knuckles press down, gaze up. Feel that stretch across the heart. Exhale, softness in the knees, hinge at the hips, lead with the heart, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, forward fold, release the clasp of the hands. Inhale, fingertips come forward and up. Exhale, hands come down behind you. Last one, move at your own pace. I'm gonna stay quiet this time. Next time you find yourself upright, hands come into heart center, pressing the palms together, close the eyes and just pause. Beautiful work. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward and up. Exhale, bring it all the way down into your forward fold. Inhale, find your half lift, you know the drill here. Exhale, let the head fall. And then those hands are on the blocks or hands are on your yoga mat to then step the right foot back behind you. Coming into a lunge, so that front leg bends, knee is above ankle, back leg is strong. Inhale to bring the hands all the way up. Exhale, soften the shoulders away from the ears. If you're feeling wobbly at all, widen your stance so that your feet are more on kind of like train tracks than a balancing beam. Beautiful, from your upward lunge, begin to come into your warrior two. So you drop that back heel down, open up into the arms, bringing your alignment back into your feet. So allowing the heel of the front foot to be in the middle of the back foot, kind of alignment wise. Outer edge of your right foot is parallel to the back of your yoga mat. That front knee is bent. Open that knee out towards the side. Fingertips are reaching away from each other and the gaze is above the left middle finger. From your warrior two, bring the hands behind you, so clasping those hands together. Knuckles press down as you find an inhale. And then on the exhale, begin to hinge at the hips, bring that heart down and towards the front corner of your mat. So a little bit of a variation on a humble warrior. If you come down and you're like, whoa, wobbly, you can find the same stretch by just bringing the hands down. And then taking an inhale to come all the way up, release the hands back into your warrior two, and then bring the hands onto your hip straighten into that front leg and then allow your toes to open towards the right side of your yoga mat. Hands are on your hips. Bring the heels in a little bit so that your feet are more in kind of 45 degree angle. And then begin to bend into the knees, sink the hips down, goddess pose, hey yo. <laughs> sink into the strength that you hold in your legs here. Notice your tailbone, so tip the pelvis forward. Tailbone is heavy. Hands can stay on the hips, or you can reach the hands out to either side. Where is your breath? Feel that strength. Hands back onto the hips, straighten into the legs. We'll come into a warrior two at the back end of your yoga mat. So allow the right toes to be pointing towards the side, left toes towards the back end of your mat. Come into your warrior two, bend into that right leg, open up into the arms, fingertips are away from each other. Then your gaze is above the middle finger of the right hand. So even if you're, <laughs> Even if you set up the video so that it's towards the front end of your yoga mat and you're kind of craning the neck back, you know where we're going. We've done this shape already. So just trust me, trust yourself, trust in the practice. Bring the hands behind you, clasp the hands together. Before you tip down, find that openness across the heart, so reach the knuckles back, and then begin to hinge at the hips so that your heart comes forward and down towards that front knee. Keep that length in the back of the neck. Exhale, 
and then slowly bring yourself up. Hands on the hips, we're coming into that upper lunge towards the back end of your yoga mat. So pivot onto the back toes, widen your stance here to find more stability. Front knee is bent as you reach the fingertips up towards the sky, softness in the shoulders. Breathe. Beautiful work. Bring the hands back onto the hips, straighten into that front leg, pivot towards the side of your yoga mat. We're gonna be coming into goddess pose just one last time, but we're gonna find a little bit more fluidity. So heels come back in so that you find that 45 degree angle with your feet. Hands are on the hips, begin to bend into the knees, sink the hips down. So again, notice your tailbone. Notice if you're kind of sticking your butt out, your knees are buckling in. So you want the opposite of that. Knees are opening out towards the side. You'll notice that automatically allows your pelvis to tip forward, tailbone reaches down. And then from this shape, bring the hands onto the thighs, onto the knees. And then begin to allow your shoulder, whatever, it doesn't matter, right or left, allow one shoulder to drop down as you kind of twist towards one side of your space. Come back into center and then over towards the other side. Feeling that stretch in the inside of your thighs, back into center. Other side. Back into center. Other side. Beautiful, come back into center, stay low. Bring the hands onto your heart. If it feels okay, close the eyes and breathe. Breathe in love. Breathe out love. Feel that strength in your thighs. Feel that strength in your heart, your body, and your mind. You are so strong. And then slowly, if the eyes are closed, keep the eyes closed. Keep the hands on the heart straight into the legs. Feel that. Feel that release. Beautiful work. Nice and slow, the eyes open. If the eyes were closed, hands come down, tiptoe the toes and the feet towards each other to come into the center of your mat. Come back towards the front end of your mat. We're gonna come all the way down towards the mat. So Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, fingertips come forward and up. Exhale, softness in the knees. Come all the way down, lead with your heart. Inhale, find your half lift, flat back. Exhale, hands come down. Step one foot back. Step the other foot back. Last downward facing dog here. Bring the knees down onto the mat. Send the hips back towards the heels. Forehead comes down onto the mat. Just pause. your whole body settle and soften into the support of your practice, to the support of your mat. Breathe in love, breathe out love. Moving really slow. One hand comes underneath of the shoulders, other hand comes underneath the shoulders, meeting in tabletop position. From your tabletop position, we're gonna come into melting heart pose. So we are gonna be on our knees for a little bit of this shape here. So if you know that added cushioning underneath of your knees in the form of a blanket will be helpful, then grab a blanket if you've got sensitive knees. And then if you've got your yoga blocks or if you've got a couple pillows nearby, that's gonna be a helpful prop for once you do make your way into the shape and I'll, I'll let you know once we get there. So from your tabletop position, the aim is to keep the hips above the knees the entire time in the shape. 
So from that, allow your hands to begin to walk forward. So you notice I'm really sticking my butt up in the air here. So feel that, feel that booty love. <laughs> so from this shape, walk the hands forward and then allow the heart, so the chest, the armpits, and then the forehead or the chin to come down onto the mat. So then your modification or your options here to really support your body would be if you come down into the shape and the heart of the forehead doesn't meet comfortably with the mat, then that would be your indication to grab some sort of support. So maybe in the form of blocks or rolled up blanket, towel, pillow, and bring that underneath of your chest. So choose how you'd like to support this shape. We won't be here for too, too long. But as you breathe, let your heart melt down towards the mat. And to release out of the shape, first start by just lifting up away from the mat and then walk the hands in child's pose. But this time, allow the arms to come alongside the body with the palms open towards the sky. Allow your shoulder blades to kind of slip and slide away from each other, arms completely heavy. Send your breath towards the back line of your body here. Moving with such kindness and love, you'll make your way onto your back. But take your time. Notice if right away you move quickly, just on autopilot here. So move mindfully, being so kind with your physical body, making your way all the way down onto your back. Once you make your way there, bringing the knees in towards the chest, hug those knees in, rocking from side to side, massage into the low back. Then come back into center, back into stillness, and then bring your legs into diamond shape. So bringing the soles of the feet together, knees open wide, and then your hands, Rest one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Do any last adjustments in the body so the physical body feels comfortable, feels supported. And then sense into the physical touch of the palms on your body. Hands on your heart and hand on your belly. Feel your body. Send yourself some love. This beautiful body of yours, this strong body of yours that carries you through all the shit, <laughs> all the hard, all the crazy adventures that you've gone through. This body of yours has been there through all of it. Honor that. Honor that relationship that you have with yourself, with your heart, your mind, and your body. That relationship which maybe sometimes has not always been so perfect or collaborative or whatever. And even if right now you're feeling a little bit of clunkiness in that relationship, that's okay. Breathe in love. Breathe out, love. This is where I leave you in your practice today. Please take 
as long as you need in this shape, in this space. I want to take this moment to honor you for committing to your practice and to your body and for carving out that time for yourself. You are wonderful and you are oh so loved. From my heart to yours and till next time, namaste.